Hey there guys and welcome back to Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty. In the last part we finally finished defusing all the C4s and we found out that Fat Man has put some more bombs around. But these ones can be found with the equipment we currently have with us. So we need to go back to where we first met Peter Stillman and to go and pick up a new sensor. And yeah, let's just gun that guy down with our tranquilizer gun. Had to throw a little chaff grenade there, otherwise the camera would have seen me. Lols, he's sleeping on the job. Silly guard, you shouldn't be doing that. Alright, back in strut C. So, let's find Peter's cabinet. See where that sensor is. There we go, we've got it. Peter, I have sensor B. Good, head to the bottom of strut A. How's your invisible bomb? I'm looking at it, but I'm keeping my distance. How's Pliskin doing? A few more minutes. I just got to the last strut, but there are a few enemy sentries I have to take care of. Does it look bad, Peter? Maybe. It's an odd one. The detonator hasn't been activated. What? But the sensors are live, which means... This is Pliskin. I've located the last C4. Is that it? I'm about to freeze it. Then... Wait! Pliskin! That was it! What's going on? The detonator just woke up. It's counting down! What happened? The big ones were rigged to be activated when all the baby C4s went offline. Right, the one in Shell 1 should be counting down too. Hurry! What's the remaining time? 400 seconds. 400 seconds? Right, move! Get to the bottom of Strut A now! Damn, that was a smart move by Fat Man. He really did have a backup plan, but... 400 seconds, that's a good 6 minutes. Pretty sure we can do that. Okay, this one detects Fat Man's C4 that doesn't like have the scent thing on it. So, maybe with this one we can find it in time. And it was in strut A, if I recall correctly. Oh yeah, silly me, of course a tranquilizer gun isn't gonna work on a robot. Or a machine. Alright, let's make a run for it. Because the clock's ticking away. What do we have here? Chaff grenade. Hmm, can always use more of those. Just in case there's like any security cameras anywhere. Anyways, we're doing good time. Only about one minute gone and we're already in strut B. Tranquilizer gun. Knock that guy out, can't let him see us. Because that makes things harder than they need to be. Alright, go, 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 go. Are they ever gonna clean the blood off the walls of there, or are they just gonna leave it there? Lazy soldiers. You'd think they'd clean up once in a while. Or maybe they have, like, cleaning ladies for that, but they just haven't been doing their job, or they've been taken hostage as well. Who knows? I mean, surely this place has cleaning personnel. Or was the personnel, like, evacuated or something, or did I miss... Like some codec conversation, pretty sure I did. But yeah, here we are, strut A, with only about one minute spent and five more remaining. This should totally work out. Alright, down in the pump room it was, I think. Or uh, at least from my previous playthroughs, I remember it being there. So that's where we'll... Oh, now who's calling? Right, Pliskin. Listen carefully. What is it? I fell for it. Fell for what? That man has my number. A proximity trigger. Microwave. M microwave With a seven-foot range. It's not a technique I taught him. Neither was that multi-bomb booby trap. Looks like he's far surpassed me as far as explosives technique goes. As for the rest... Pete, get the hell out of there! There's less than 30 seconds left. It's too late. No! Pleskin, get away from Strut H as fast as you can. Pete! Right! Keep your distance. Use the spray from as far away as possible. Me? You can do it. I know that. I'm not so sure. But I am. Do it. I know you can. Oh 
Oh my god, they killed Peter! You bastards! Yeah, the first supporting character bites the dust. I don't think that happened in the first Metal Gear Solid. Like, did any supporting characters... Well, yeah, Grey Fox died, but... That was like, in the final fight. And the rest pretty much, pretty much all alive throughout the entire game. And now, yeah, we get one less guy to keep harassing us with annoying phone calls. Although, is that really something to be sad about? I don't really know. Now, let's see. The thingy should be in here somewhere. And the sensor will start beeping. Now, I know that's not really audible with me talking over it and stuff, but... The bomb's attached to the bottom of that submarine thing. Now, we weren't supposed to get really, like, very close to that thing. Let's see, can we freeze it from here? No, don't dive in the bloody pool. Sure you want to go for a swim, do that on your own time. Get out of there. Grab the frickin' ladder right and you're wasting time. The bomb still ticking. Let's see. I think you had to freeze it from over on this end. Get the coolant. Duck. Or kneel or whatever. Spray. Come on. It doesn't seem to be doing anything from here. Okay, maybe we need to try another angle. Because this one... Or is it working? No, don't think it is. Nope, we need a different angle. How about we try it from here? I just lie down like that. And then maybe we can aim it up at the bomb. Yeah, this works. There we go, problem solved. Colonel, I've neutralized the bomb. Good work, Raiden. It was a great loss for everyone. Yes, it was. Colonel, any damage report on the explosion? Seems that the duct for diverting the contaminated seawater was destroyed. And the central section of Shell 2 is flooding. The explosions ignited the oil slick on the surface. What about the toxins? The chemicals stayed in containment. There's no immediate danger. Is the big shell stable? Shell 1 was unaffected. The price was high. But the threat of the bomb is over for now. What's the next objective? Rescue the President. Get back to the upper level. Roger that. Alright, no more bombs to be worried about. Now, back to our original objective. Have to go all the way back up there. I don't even know where the hell they moved the president to recently. Oh great, now what? Raiden, the terrorists have retaliated for our bomb neutralization. What? A hostage has been killed. Shot in the head. They shot one of them on the roof, just to make sure we caught it. One of our satellites caught it clear as day. Damn. They announced they would kill one every hour from now on. What are my orders? What should I do? Stay with your mission objective. Rescue the President. What about the other hostages? President Johnson is your first priority. Priority my butt! They're all in danger! Jack, be reasonable. I know what you're feeling, but you can't save them all. No. Not by myself. Are you expecting that Pliskin to come through? Well... Looks like he's turned his radio off too. I can't complete this mission by myself. That man was not included in the simulation. He is not a factor in this mission. What do you mean by that, Colonel? Your mission must remain a solo effort. What about the SEALs? No second attempt? They haven't even gotten to planning that. All we can do is wait. In the meantime, you're our only hope. I understand. Raiden, go and rescue the President. You can start off by getting to the upper level of Strut A. Wow, so the terrorists retaliated and the Colonel caught that all on satellite in like the 20 seconds in between those phone calls? What an awful coincidence. So, wait. Who's coming down in the elevator? Oh, crap. I remember those shapely legs. Remember her? Pretty sure you do. You know, the woman who couldn't get hit by bullets? Yeah, she's, uh, right here. 
Now this is gonna be a problem. I can't tell you how happy I am that you were alive after all. I knew this moment would come. Show yourself and finish me. Like you finished off my father. Otherwise, you'll be the one to die. Oh, crap. That's not him. This could be interesting. You've seen the fires of hell, haven't you? Maybe you can give me death. My name is Fortune, lucky in war and nothing else. And without a death to call my own. Hurry, kill me, please. Okay, who is she after if it's not me? Like, who is she confusing Raiden with? But yeah, this boss fight is, uh, how do you put it? It's not really a boss fight, it's more of a survival task because bullets cannot hurt her and bullets are all we have so pretty much what you need to do we just need to hide out here survive until the elevator arrives and then try and see that's not gonna work try and survive until the elevator gets here and then sneak on and get the hell out of here so just keep taking cover behind these boxes while she blows up everything in sight and just uh, wait it out kind of like what you do with a hurricane or a tornado just bunker up behind something you think will protect you and wait it out so uh, anyone seen any good movies lately? nah me neither there's not much in cinemas right now. Eh, <sighs> no crap. Better move a little bit over to the left. Or to the right for Raiden. Come on, where's that elevator? You know how you always, like, think that if you just mash the button and the elevator, it'll make it go faster? Yeah. That's probably not true, but... It feels sure feels that way like also at like uh, traffic lights for pedestrians and stuff I always feel that like mashing the button always makes you feel like it's going faster even though it doesn't it's just I don't know something some psychological thing I guess oh crap this one's gonna blow better hide out hero uh, kind of running out of cover here where the hell is that elevator Oh man, come on, come on, come on, we don't have all day, please, oh great, a uh, very bad time. Right, Fat Man just contacted us directly. Fat Man called us? Yes, looks like he placed a bomb on the heliport, he specifically asked for you, Leiden. What? He's killed off Peter, now he's after you. Why me? How should I know? Look, this is really not a good time for this. The countdown's already begun, right? Great. How much time do I have left? I'll show you the count. 500 seconds remaining. So he's planning on taking this place out. It looks like he has a different agenda from that of Dead Cell. What about backup? None. There's no time. Which type of explosives is it? He didn't say. Our friend Fat Man is out of control. He'll actually try to destroy this place? Yes, this could unravel everything we've planned. But why would he do such a thing? Who knows? But he's nothing more than a stereotypical mad bomber now. He's completely lost sight of our ideals. And with it, his loyalty to Commander Jackson. All right, 
I'll take care of the wayward soul. It wasn't him. Unfortunate. I expected more of this one, really. But he couldn't kill you, I see. Completely useless. Then he's all mine. Later. Then. was meant for me. Why am I the only one that can't die? Alone again? Cheated out of death again? <laughs> How long will you force me to live? How much longer, Dad? You've punished me enough. you could give me peace. But you couldn't kill me either. Died once already. Them. I can't die twice. Wow, Vamp survives being shot in the freaking head? Hmm. Wonder what's up with that. Maybe he is immortal. Anyways, we don't have to worry about those two. We have to worry about the other dead cell guy, Fat Man. He's again put some bombs somewhere. Again with a time limit. What is that guy's problem? But yeah, even his own teammates want like want him dead now, so he's really like effed up. Okay, it's there on strut E. So yeah, there we will go in the next part of Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty, strut E to go and disable Fat Man's bomb, and hopefully take Fat Man out once and for all. For Peter Stillman. Anyways, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.